Hey, Tim. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, my pleasure. Hey. hey how are you doing? Thanks for coming through, man. Tim Russ is at the party. Tim Russ is with us right now. That's crazy. Real pleasant surprise, man. We're huge fans. <laughs> Tim Russ, obviously, part of the Star Trek canon. Now, here's something you don't know, Tim. I, um, every year, they have this thing called the Los Angeles Renaissance and Pleasure Fair. Yes. I'm a big fan. I've seen you there with your beautiful family two years in a row. In honor of that, for this interview, I'm going to actually rock my uh, patented uh, New Orleans Fleur de Lis gauntlets. I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about your experiences. Has it been mostly where race is not a big deal, or has it been surprising to you that it has been an issue sometimes? When I was cast as, as Tuvok on Voyager, a lot of the questions <laughs> I got were, uh, well, how could there be black Vulcans? No, you're making I, this up. I am you're not making, making this it up. up. Why I would you come it, to our beautiful I, show and tell lies? I've heard it many, many times <laughs> uh, where people would come up to me and say, you know, how could they be? It wasn't just blacks, blacks, yeah. whites, old. They would come maybe once in a while and they would say, well, I don't understand how there could be a black Vulcan. And I just, uh, I said, well, have you looked at the population of Earth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just maybe the planet has two suns. Might be a little toasty. <laughs> I have a, a question about Star Trek. Yes. I think a lot of African Americans were always attracted to it because of the fact that it felt so progressive. Yes. Because of the fact that, historically speaking, the first interracial kiss on television was Nichelle Nichols and That's William right. Shatner. That's I right. even heard that in certain stations in the South, they the didn't air the episode. Yeah. They just ran a rerun wow. that night. Wow, really? Yeah. They ran a rerun of an episode of him kissing a green lady. Yeah. <laughs> because they were like, no, he can kiss any like, color. We don't care if you're or, green, polka dot, or, or, or any, any of the others, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think because of what Gene Roddenberry had already established in the, in the, in the in Star Trek franchise, in the Star Trek world, he had already crossed these color barriers yes. so early on, like you mentioned, in the 60s. Uh, we had an Asian character on our cast. We had an, uh, a, a Hispanic character on our cast, um, an American playing yeah. the commander, and a woman as the, as the captain. Yeah. I mean, we've, that's the, the history of Star Trek. That world is the ideal world. This is what we've worked through sure. all of those issues, and this is what makes it so attractive. So it isn't your appearance. It isn't uh, what you look like. It isn't what you're wearing. It's the it content of your character. Content of the character your and, your, and your actions, what yeah. you do and, and how you do it's, it. It's been said many times, obviously, but I always love the fact that people's accents yeah. <laughs> have, have not advanced as much as the technology. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've personally been very disappointed with the amount of diversity in most fantasy. I think Star Trek, sadly, even though it came out in the 60s, has been sort of unique in its diversity. Yes. Yeah. You look at something like Lord of the Rings, and I remember watching that and being like, they don't got no Asian elves. There's not one Latino ogre they could throw out no. here. Why is it that in the minds of so many white fantasy writers, black people don't exist? The Blade Runner from years yeah. ago, right? It was, it was Los Angeles uh, way out in the future. Clearly something happened. There was no, yeah, there was, there was none a of riot us. That, that, there was none of us. That's actually the prequel I need. I need the Blade Runner people to find out what happened to us. Yeah, so the Blade gonna, Runner people they're remaking race that. war. They thought the mystery was, you know, is he an android? Yeah. And my mystery was, <laughs> what happened to Tyrone? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't see him. What do you think it takes to get something that is diverse that might come from an African-American perspective in science fiction to actually burst through the filter and make it to the small screen or the big screen? Well, I think it comes down to who is behind uh, that project. As far as the big screen goes, nowadays, if you've got a best-selling novel that's really hitting it, that features lead black role characters, and that thing is selling off the shelves, it will be made. They'll make it because it's they, it's Which already has a track you, record. You brought that up because there was a big uh, hullabaloo About over Rue. the Rue character, yeah. and I read the Hunger Games, yeah. and you know, in the Hunger Games, the people from that district uh, they throw spears and they pick cotton, and I'm like, yeah, these are <laughs> I'm not making that up. That's what happened. There's their spear chops. Also, she was described as extremely curly haired. Yeah, and, you know, like, but yeah. it was sort of interesting that they read that and they were like, no, this must be a white character, and there was a big brouhaha. Mm -hmm. Over yeah. it, and I was like, "What is going on? Are you not reading this?" I don't want to use those words today. Well, it's funny Hello when it's Jared Leto plays Michael Jackson, but yeah. uh, Idris Elba can't play James uh, Bond, James Bond so who's a fictional person who does not exist. Yeah, for me, that always kind of breaks my heart a little bit. The problem is, is that the that the money that's involved to make those kinds of projects, uh, the decisions, the people that make those decisions for those kinds of projects, they're not black. I don't know how to say they are not black. At the very top, somebody has to say, "Okay." Okay. We should, you we can should, have a few people yeah. down below. You can have somebody, the writers could be black, the producers could be black, the stars could be black. The junior All executives. All that's fine. <laughs> yes. 
but not at the very top. Yeah. And that's why you don't see it. Has anyone ever told you you look just like Charlie Chaplin? Oh my God, can you do the waddle? Do the waddle. Do it, do it. Oh! <laughs>